What's good to you, my viewers? You already know it. There's a cute guy getting in front of the camera these days. Mr. Martin Allen himself. And I'm back with another video, back with another review. Oh, it's been a while. But I got you. I got you. The month of January. We're doing a lot of reviews. I told you that, right? I didn't say when I was going to drop it, though. So here we go. Life of Iroll, the thing you already know, Team Iroll is. So make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, and share. Support the artists, them. I'm not doing this only for me. I'm doing this for the benefit of Guyana and the music industry. So make sure you guys support the artists. Make sure you guys follow the culture. We got a lot going on right now. But, like I said, it's another review. So here we go. Today, we're going to review Stiffy Stiff. He got a track called Where I'm From. It dropped earlier in the month, so we're going to review it right now. I'm going to go through and see, you know, how the people feel about it or whatever. So, let's go. Life of I really think. I got the track pulled up behind me. Let's go right into it. David Rose. All by Stone. Tiger B. Rasville. Lepo Street. Poor Giant City. Crane Scheme. Dream, you know? Yeah, might see how I'm going to change neck. Don't think everything is all well. Only TJ can tell. Tears on my mama cry, could have fallen away. Now yeah. the currency just finished. Their eyes not even start swell. I can't man a pre-star. I want to GPL, man, I come from ideas, pain, and so far. How do I start this off? Where I'm from? This, this, this is one of them track that when you listen to it, and you know you could connect to a, a song or a certain type of music. This is one of them track that touches you like all the way in your soul, you feel me? Where I'm From speaks a lot. Like the title alone speaks a lot for him. Speaks a lot for me. Know that it coming from Guyana. It's, it's unexplainable, you feel me? Um, he, he started off the intro, he coming in. And you know, he dropped a bunch of community names. You know, places in Guyana, that you, communities in Guyana that you could find. And I'm from Turkine Sophia. You feel me? I'm from Turkine. So, which is like, I grew up in the middle of Turkine on this side, which is a nice rich side, and then Sophia on this side of the road, which is, well, they would say the ghetto. You feel me? So, so yeah. A track like this speak volumes. A track like this speak volumes. And we ain't even into the track yet. We ain't even all the way into the track yet. I feel like I should replay the, the, the whole track though. I feel like I should replay the intro just because of the way it comes in. David Rose. All by Stone. Tiger B. Rasville. Lepo Street, Poor Giant City, Crane Scheme, I want dream, you know? Yeah, might see how I'm going to change my neck, don't think everything is all well, only TJ can tell, tears on my mama cry, could have fallen away, yeah, yeah. I say you might see a one gold chain round my neck. This is silver, but you get where I'm going from. Might see a one gold chain round my neck, but don't think everything is all well. Yo, the kerosene just finished. Yes, right? The man said the kerosene just finished that. And a lot, a lot, a lot of people probably my age and and older. If you, I'm only 24, so a lot of people my age and older, I'm pretty sure could relate to cooking on kerosene stove back in the days. People probably still do. I'm not sure, but that that was a thing back in the days. You feel me? Now everybody, pretty sure everybody got money now to buy a little gas stove. A little too boring or whatever you feel but back in the days the kerosene stove was a thing i'ma drop a picture of the kerosene stove right over here so y'all y'all niggas could see what the kerosene stove look like and not a gas stove and what a fireside look like what we used to cook for back in the days you said man even when the hurricane hit um what, two years ago in miami we had to cook on fireside you feel me they kind of dial it right back to where we had growing up and it's a good thing so we knew what to do a lot of i i cook food and give a lot of my friends because they depend on gas stove and i you know light up the fireside set out the bush cook boom 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 call over there man yo we got food y'all niggas ain't hungry you feel me so let's continue with the track my dad's a but me never had no water Don't tell me what me mother, me not tell about your mother Yeah, the man said, kerosene finished, the rice didn't even start swell. swell No man got eat rice pop, or pop rice, or wherever, where, however you want to put it, you see? The rice, the rice ain't gonna never finish, dog Unless you go set up the fire side one time And especially if GPL is turning on the light, rice ain't gonna done for no time soon They eating pop rice, pretty sure, see? Then you he go, he go on to say, um, no man, straight One thing I like about Steffi, I met Steffi, dialing back a little bit I met Steffi 2015 when I was in Guyana, you feel me? Part of the come say, yo, this is a dope artist. 
you know, we want to stand behind him. We want a name to stand behind him. We want High Rollers brand to stand behind him. I like, all right, let me hear some music. You know, let me see what you got. When I collect music from him, one of the reasons I started YouTube was because a Jamaican artist named Javlani and Stiffy. These are the two people that made me start the YouTube. You feel me? When I collected Stiffy music, Stiffy was, if I'm right, Stiffy was the first artist to be uploaded on the channel. That song was called Gremlins. I do believe the first song on the YouTube channel was called Gremlins by Stiffy Stiff. Is right? The reason I chose to stand behind Stiffy Stiff, even under today, I always wanted to be part of the military growing up. He's military minded. You feel me? He's grounded. And military minded speaks volumes because you could adhere to commands and people telling you what to do whatever you feel me but his music his music is music that could touch you like i said earlier it, it, you know when he sings it gets into it gets under your skin your hair rays and shit you feel me let's continue <laughs> Masi pleaded cars oh lord Masi got the scars to show we come from his side a lot a lot of people got the scars a lot of people got the scars to show and he had to sell weed you know to get by day today there's, there's, a, there's a regular thing for a lot of a lot of ghetto youths coming up your side it depends on where you grow that's where you do to survive you don't got money old lady got money you gotta sell hey buy auntie you're gonna flip up on the street sell it how much of it sell for two dollar bag or whatever your side and that's how you make your money like i personally know that growing up you feel me? I never used to dab in it too much, but you know, I ain't gonna say too much on that. But this is one of them songs that has changed your life and got you reminiscing about certain things, man. So you're full of lyrics, yeah. You're talented, dog. But we're dug out your wisdom and your knowledge from dog. Me say me look through the window and me see what I go on. Me have to put it in a sack. Oh, so you understand? Man, I come from ideas. Remember when they never did the one yeah. This me in the past and I'm sorry. Bag a hot girl, you say style man now. Them a call man fool, but the money. Big up my mother, my charge. You're there from day one, I used to start. All when times are the devil did about me. I'm a gift thanks when I come from hard days, pain and suffer. Straight from the gutter, long time and I suffer. Fight at some bread, but me never had no butter. Don't tell me about me mother, me not tell about you. How much people remember eating bread and bread and butter back in the days? That's really the only thing he could, could afford. The old lady could afford to sell the bread. And a lot of people ain't got in his single single family. You feel me? So single parents and thing. A lot, a lot, a lot of get to youths single parents. So shout out to all the mothers. Shout out to all the mothers who raise their kids. You know who choose to raise their kids and bring them up in the right way as much as they can. You feel me? Shout out to all the moms out there. Shout out to all the kids who listen to their mama when the right path. Cause you know how we go for us. We listen and then from the time we leave house, we gonna do the. Do the opposite when mom said not to do or what to do or whatever. You feel me? So shout out to the moms, man. To the man, the man, listen to the stuff them that I really grew up on is like egg and rice. Even now to today, living in America, I still feel like yo. When I sweet egg and rice, you gonna fry some egg, do some rice. You feel me? Like it would say you could take, you could take the, take the pig out of the, the mud, but you can't take the mud out of the pig. You feel me? So I know about the stuff, the bread and the butter, the egg and the rice, the bread and sardine, you know, rice and sardine, rice and salt with butter, and you add a little pepper. And I know about them side of the thing that is right. Growing up, coming from where I'm from, you say, which is Guyana. Friendship has some fake esteem, but from you have life and the great esteem. Big man, this is a joke though. Let me even know about sleeping on the floor too. Me know about the rooftop full of holes. So when time rain fall, all your skin gets soaked too. I wanna from Yeah, he even. If, like I said, man, this is one of them track that you could dive back in and reminisce on certain things. You said, he said, he know about the roof full in the hole and the rain falling and, you know, wetting up your whole skin. Wetting up the mattress. You gotta get up, you gotta move your clothes from and put in a different kind of. It's, it's certain things that living in America, a lot of people would, would never, never. Like, for the time I come to America, I never experienced blackout. You said, man, never experienced blackout. The light don't never cut off. Even though the light cut off, it makes up. Flicker. For the time the light cut off, it come on back. You said, man, he never cut off for like five days or three days or two hours or nothing. So, you said, man, the roof, 
roof don't leak. It's like roofing you ain't got no leaking problem on them side of things. You don't got to get up and you know wake up out your sleep because the water dropping on your back or in your head or whatever. Now you got to run up, move your clothes in the corner. You got to move your bed. Your side may got to put a, a towel on your, on your mattress because there's really water dropping or a bucket in the corner for catch you water. You got to do them side of things in America. So a lot of people and in a lot of countries too, a lot of people still got to do these stuff. You said man, parts of guy and I'm pretty sure people still got to do these stuff because time hard like the government shut down right now. America government shut down, the government shut down. What's the purpose of the government if y'all shutting down? Y'all got no, y'all got no vacation or something? It's so much of y'all and y'all can't function one body of government. Is that? Right? So I know, man. Y'all need to get together, honestly. System, y'all need to get it together. Cause get the youths will be wise. Everything will be televised, and you know, certain things we don't go for after a certain limit. They can't trust the poor, poor. They was done the drugs, lad. Them out the road, you. Black man up here. Let me have to go court, can't pay my child support, and things gonna move slow, slow. And I come to you. Hard days, pain and suffer. Straight from the gutter, long time and I suffer. Fight at some bread, but me never had no water. Don't tell me about me mother, me not tell about your mother. Anything me want, my youth, me I go find me out to sell weed, cause you know my no sell The race is something, cause I get tough, I lock me up, cause I'm black, and never tell me guy. That's how that's how your system works. People get arrested for a little, little bag of giant, two years, five years, ten years. Get arrested for a little scuffle, big abuse, you got registered this, the dog. And the other man said, that's how it go. No matter how you try to get ahead of the system, there's always they always double back and you know oppress people. So you can't really do much about it, man. That brings us to the end of the video of course on a rating from 1 to 10 um because of what it speaks to me and you know the reminiscent value and everything of the track i rate it to 10 honestly easily a 10 just just because of the topic you feel me where i'm from I, I was able to relate a lot of people will be able to relate you feel me composition of the track um i felt like his 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 pitch was a little bit too high on it Honestly, like the production level, his pitch was a little bit too high. AJ recorded that track, he produced that track, so that that's one thing I'ma find out on it. Is his voice peaked a little too high for me? But overall, overall, there's not a track that you wanna bring down. You feel me? But besides the voice peaking, it kind it kind of sound like he had a little cold in it. Honestly, maybe that's why the voice sound like that. If if not, then his voice peaked a little bit, like extra high in my ear. You feel me? On the production. So video wise, if you plan on doing a video for this, you already know ghetto. It's it's simple, simple, easiest way to get a video done for this. Eh? You see it, man. It, it definitely do need a video also. You see it, man. Show show parts of the guy that the world don't see, or show parts of the world that the other world don't see. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. We could we could bypass the vocals. Ten out of ten for this one. Listen, no, definitely a song that put you on a, on a different bracket from certain artists. Like artists, a lot of artists sing about money, cars, and this and that. Even if they don't have it, which don't make sense. Like wait until you haven't done or aspire to have it or whatever. You feel me? But this is one of them songs that sits you down, let you like, yo, you gotta get your shit together. You feel me? Cause ain't none given at the end of the day. This is one of them tracks that does that for you. I ain't gonna go too much into it. If you guys like it, y'all could go replay back on the YouTube channel. I'ma drop the link in the description below. Y'all could go follow me on social media. Support the local talent, support the international talent for whoever watching whoever watching overseas. Yeah, make sure you guys go support the guy in his music. There's a lot of dope artists coming out. Like I said, I had a chance of meeting Stevie Steve back in 2000. 15 he's represented under one of us you feel me on the high roller so there you go even that way i wouldn't be biased to it but he's a dope artist i don't want to work with the dope i only i only work with the best so yeah there you have it life of high team i rose make sure you guys go check out stevie stiff the track is called where i'm from and i'm from guyana of course representing 592 all the way go check it out because